Hi, I'm Anna Olson and welcome to Oh Yum, the best place on YouTube for delicious recipes and a growing community of home cooks and foodies alike. I'm making my mashed potatoes with green onions, perfect for a Thanksgiving or Christmas meal and I always make extra because you have to plan for leftovers. Before I get going, you want to subscribe to my Oh Yum channel and don't forget to tap on the notification bell so you'll know when a new recipe is coming your way. Let me get right into these mashed potatoes. The first thing when you wanna make delicious, creamy, fluffy mashed potatoes is to make the right potato choice. I favor Yukon Gold potatoes. They have that beautiful yellow color to them and you've got a perfect balance between creaminess and that sort of starchy character that ensures they'll be nice and fluffy after you mash them. I've peeled and diced almost two kilos, so I'm just going to finish up now. And a little tip, when you're planning on cutting up your potatoes for boiling in your water, the smaller you cut them, well, the faster they'll cook. So cutting them to about this size, an inch and a half, will take about 20 to 30 minutes to boil. You wanna fill your pot with cold water and you wanna salt it generously, as much as you would use if you were boiling pasta. You wanna make sure the water covers the potatoes completely, but I do boil them uncovered because if you cover them, well, you're just gonna have a mess to clean up in a few minutes once it comes to a boil. But I will bring this up to high heat. And while this is boiling, I'll get my other ingredients ready. All right, now it's time to check if the potatoes are done. So I've got my other add-ins ready. I've got sour cream, because I love sour cream with baked potatoes, so it works perfectly in mashed potatoes. Milk, butter, my green onions, and just to let you know, the recipe is down below in the description. So to check the doneness, I just grab a little knife, and if it pierces a potato easily, it goes right through, then you know they're done. I'll take it off the heat. Have your colander ready, and I'll just drain them. It's important to make sure your potatoes are really well drained before you start mashing them. You don't want watery potatoes, you want nice, fluffy, rich potatoes. I do like to add my butter to the pot before I add the potatoes back. That way, the heat of the pot just starts melting the butter quickly. Now my favorite tool to mash potatoes is actually to use a ricer. I find it makes the potatoes super fluffy. My second favorite option, just using a hand masher. Typically, even though I love using electric beaters and a stand mixer for baking, I avoid that when I'm making mashed potatoes. It's just too easy to over mash and then you end up with gluey potatoes. Part of holiday success is having those little things just right and you don't want your relatives talking about your gluey potatoes. So you just put the potatoes in, squeeze gently, and you can see how they fluff up. Now, this is a lot of potatoes, and two kilos, I usually budget to feed six to eight people, but generously, because you never know at holiday time who's going to go in for that second or third helping. And I'll be honest, I love having some leftover mashed potatoes if you actually want to make your mashed potatoes ahead of time, because a lot of people think you can only do it last minute. What you wanna do is you make your mashed potatoes, as I'm doing now, but then you transfer them to a metal bowl. Cover the bowl and then place that over your potato pot that's filled with an inch or two of water. Have that on a low simmer. And with the metal bowl resting over the pot of water, it keeps your potatoes hot for up to two hours. So you can take care of this task well ahead of time. See, that really is a pile of potatoes. Before I chop my green onions to put into the mashed potatoes, I might as well warm up the milk and the sour cream into the potatoes. So I'll measure a cup of milk. and I have a cup of sour cream. What's really important when you're making these mashed potatoes is to use full fat sour cream. If you use low fat, it's often set with a gel or a starch or other ingredient that once warmed, just simply liquefies. So you want to use full fat. Hey, it's the holidays. Now I'll give this a stir and I'll turn my pot back on a medium low heat. 
That way the sour cream warms through, the butter is now melted at the bottom, and you can see after ricing, all it takes is a couple of stirs and you've got this creamy, wonderful mixture of mashed potatoes. Just screaming for gravy. Oh, I just love how fluffy these turn out when I use the ricer. Now I'll chop my green onions. I use a full bunch for this recipe. And I even use the white portion because the heat of the mashed potato just subtly softens and draws out the flavor, but green onions are so mild. That's why they make a great addition to mashed potatoes. So feel free to get adventurous, add a little crumbled cooked bacon in there, or if you want to throw in a cup of cheddar cheese, I am not going to stop you. But because I'm serving this as part of a festive meal, I'm gonna keep this batch relatively simple and transfer it to my bowl. And there we have gorgeous mashed potatoes with green onion. I swear these might even outshine the turkey. Thank you for watching Oh Yum! And there are new videos, a full festive feast to go along with the mashed potatoes. So come back and see me again.